Q-T. Um, well, this is... I am Amari, the <laughs> vegan. I am Tyrell Ernst. <laughs> I'm Anna, the East, and uh, this is our special guest today. Um, his name is Ed Edwards, and he is an incredible human being. He works with energy and... Um, he can explain it much better than I can, but his official title is a bio-intrinsic resonant energy specialist. I just read that off of the card because it's a mouthful, <laughs> but it is like an amazing mouthful, which I cannot explain, but he can. Yes. <laughs> hey, Ed, thanks for being here. Glad to be here. <laughs> Glad y'all could hear me. Yeah, absolutely. A great way to show what we do here. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. this energy is something that we all have that I'm playing with. It just got conditioned out of all of you when you were little kids. I grew up being able to control the electrical systems all through my body, and I was a very mischievous kid growing up. So I practiced things that uh, caused my brain to wire up differently than all the rest of the kids that got it conditioned out of. My goodness, okay, so wait, okay, that is, <laughs> okay, well, why don't we digest this? I think we need something to drink, some yes. liquid. Yes. <laughs> what do you guys think, yeah? Okay, yes. uh, what would you like? I would like a tea. Mm. And what would you like? A tea. A tea. Tyrell. Well, you know, I want sweet tea with sugar at the bottom. At the bottom tea. only. I'll take tea too. Tea too. <laughs> <laughs> take tea too. Um, yeah, so are you guys ready? Yes. yes. We can bring it to life with our energy. Oh, work. Let's do it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it worked. We're, we're on our way, guys. Yes, I'm yeah. learning. I'm learning. Oh. Yup. Oh, so oh, good. Oh, yes. And the um, director says no phones allowed. <laughs> Just oh, put our phones yes. away. Yes, yeah, so let's put our phones away. Sure. So I, I'm so curious about everything that you do. And so basically, you're saying that we, we've been conditioned to not access the parts of our brain that you can access. Yes. Um, can you tell me more about that? What that well, means? Well, when they conditioned, when they were taken away from you when you were a little kid, you have a generator in here, and that was basically turned off. It was running naturally when you were born up until about the first or second grade. But do you remember being told you were playing with the devil or you were playing with stuff that you shouldn't be playing with? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Well, you were playing with the energies that you should have been growing up with. Mm. Okay, so it got conditioned out of you when you were little kids. But me, I kept playing with it, and I did a lot of very, very mischievous things. It got me in a lot of trouble, but I had a lot of fun causing my brain to wire up differently than the other kids that were not doing anything. So... Mm, uh, <laughs> he's, he's told us about one thing that he did when you were a kid before. <laughs> Can you just share that really quickly? <laughs> well, one of my favorite things was well, I learned how to make people rock back and forth from a distance using this energy. But the funnest thing I learned to do by slip flipping the polarities was sitting in church one day. And our preacher always had prayer at 1130 and then silent prayer. And one day I was sitting there and my intuition said, start pulling backwards when the preacher started praying. So I was in the balcony looking down at everybody and I started pulling on them with this energy. And when the preacher hit silent prayer and it got real quiet in there, my, in, my energy said, let go of it, reverse the polarity, push and squeeze. And when I did, 20 seconds or so later, people started farting downstairs. <laughs> so I've learned a new trick there, and I practiced it religiously from the time I was seven years old till the time I was 14, every Sunday in church. Wow. And I no got really good. Oh my gosh, was it, what, did people talk about it? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever say it was you? No, not really. I did, Secret but uh, oh, my yeah. two, friend, two friends knew it was me all the time. And then my grandma that did hands-on healing started suspecting it. Yeah. So that's what you call a stanky Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so your grandma was a uh, part of your journey? Yes, yeah, she uh, did hands-on healing, okay. and it was part of a Cherokee lineage. Okay. Okay, so I found, going back through my family genealogy and everything, uh, my grandmother had about 30% Cherokee in her, and then her grandma had more than that, and so it was just kind of come down that line. Interesting. And so these scientists that study me at these different universities now believe that that's where it came from originally. 
Okay, so two things. One thing is that is so cool with um, your your lineage because I've, I was telling you before I've studied a bit of ethnobotany and I was studying some Mayan healers and it's a similar thing where it was um, passed down the, the practice um, and it's probably just not stopping like what people have are naturally gifted with. Yes. So, but then also you said you you're being studied. What does that mean? Well. I was always looking for scientific explanations for this as a kid growing up, from physics and science, and nobody could answer anything. And then I got lucky, and in uh, 1994, I was watching 2020 with Dan Rather, and he was interviewing this scientist for five minutes that had invented equipment that would quantify pain signals in the nervous system. Okay, so he was talking about doing these different studies, and so after the show, I was able to get in touch with him, and he was the physics professor at the University of Michigan. He was just retiring from there, but he had invented different scientific equipment, and they were using it for research. And so I called him up, told him what I could do with the different things. He was real skeptical, but he said if I'd come up to the lab, he would hook me up and see if anything different was going on. So I got up there, a couple people were ahead of me in line, he let them, was checking them, nothing much going on, and when I got a hold of it, I made it go nuts. <laughs> I made the equipment just go all over the place, yeah. and then he, he shut it down, checked all the wires, and had me come up to it slowly, and as I started walking up to it, it started going nuts. So, so we actually had our camera shut off like two or three times trying to yeah. record this episode mm -hmm. while he was talking. So. It's not going to happen again, yeah. but, um, <laughs> but we do think it is. It is you. You, yeah. you know, it's you're, you're not let. You said you're not let on airplanes or anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I'm not allowed to fly on commercial aircraft that has to go by uh, instrumentation. Yeah, I can go on planes that you can fly by visual flight rules, but not by instrumentation. As you yeah. see, like with your cameras, and when I go to, now I'm under study at the University of Virginia, Division of Perceptual Studies and in Integrated Medicine. And every time I go there, I blow out half the computers in that place. So I have a question for you. <laughs> with, um, with your gift that you do have, what are you trying to do to expand to educate more people about it? I'm teaching classes online. I'm also working on with some people trying to set up a children's awareness or a children's foundation where I can keep this in the kids' hands and get them going and give them some instructions. See, I was a wild card growing up with no instructions. If I'd had a few instructions and guiding me to things to practice and play with, I would have been a lot better than I am now with it. So I'm trying to get it set up where I can teach it to the children. I teach adults, but I can literally just hand it to kids. You know, the adults, I have to work with them for many hours to get this generator to start working again in their heads. And then what, once it gets going, then you start using and firing up different parts of your brain. You move out of that 8 to 12%. I'm at 94% right now or more brain capacity, plus my brain is operating. Part of it's in alpha, another part's in beta, another part's in delta, another part's in theta all the time. So I'm multi-consciousness. Multi that's why I can do these energies. I can push and pull people off balance just by looking at them. I as I demonstrate. <laughs> yes. It did happen. Yes. Yes. I was pushed yeah. and I was pulled. That yes. stage, oh my goodness. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. Amari was See, watch your, watch your camera, people. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're all shaking their heads. No. No, but I recorded a Facebook Live, and as I was recording yes. the live, you, you'll see mm -hmm. my camera getting closer. Um, what I think is really cool is that what you do is something that's teachable, and like you said, like as children, we're told we're playing with magic, we're playing with the devil, whatever it is, mm -hmm. that encourages us to stay away from them. So since you are, you found a way to teach the kids and also teach it to adults to monitor them. Yes. Like, what's your hope that people will do with this gift? Like, as they analyze it we'll more and get familiar with it, get it back into society where it belongs. Then we can really truly evolve. Mm. You know, we can't evolve if we're stuck in eight to twelve percent of the brain activity. Mm -hmm. We got to get everybody using all their higher brain functions, get them connected back with the planet, and then we can evolve. Do you think yeah. it would be something that you would try to get introduced into the education system? Yes. I'm working on that. I'm working on all kinds of little things. 
Yeah. What is mm -hmm. what do you uh, you think about like meditation versus what you do versus uh, Reiki, like that sort okay, of thing? Okay, well this energy is measurable and the universities that study me can scale it out. Regular people at five to seven thousand, Reiki's about twelve thousand microamps. Microamps what they measure it in. Uh, Qigong masters are like ninety thousand microamps. And then when I walked in the lab the first time, I was 440,000, and now I'm over 2 million microamps. Oh my gosh, that's so <laughs> insane. So we've been practicing, you've been practicing on us a little bit. How does everybody feel right now? Energized. Right? Mm -hmm. It's so it's, powerful. Yeah, actually, I mean, I feel like more in tune. I feel more elevated right now, yes. which is so cool. I'm mean, just sitting next to him, but um, it looks like that's all the time we have today, which is so unfortunate because yes. we could pick your brain forever. Oh, yes. <laughs> but I mean, thank you so much for sitting with us mm -hmm. today. Um, Ed is incredible. And um, actually with the Unique's um, YouTube, we have another video of an interview of Ed where he tells us more about his story and what you can do. And it's just, honestly, it's so fascinating. Like. Yeah. What, I mean, what do you guys think? It's this is it's the bee's knees, and it's the bee's knees. I did. Oh um, yes, <laughs> and we also we want to make sure everyone go visit his website. It's ededwards.com. So Ed is with two E D D Edwards.com. Yeah, E D D E D W A R D S dot com. Join as a member, and then you can get letters and notifications when I teach classes and keep up with me and all the movies and everything else I'm doing. Absolutely, Ooh. it's fantastic. Like you're, it's incredible what this man does, and I'm so glad that we could have you here today. Um, and thank you so much to the, the organization that presents this show, Be Unique. And if you don't know about us, uh, yeah. <laughs> Be Unique magazine. This is such an incredible magazine here. Um, it is uh, wonderful for finding out people like Ed Edwards um, and all these different people that are inspirational, doing incredible things. And that is what we are all about showcasing. So um, thank you so much, Ed. Thank You're you welcome. guys for joining. <laughs> as well at this table. And um, yes, <laughs> thank you so much to Starbucks mm -hmm. for this wonderful tea that we are drinking. So good. Mm. Excellent. <laughs> Gotta sip the tea, everyone. Pinky's out if you're sophisticated. <laughs> oh, girl, I got two out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, should we have a cheers? Mm -hmm. Cheers to Ed. Cheers. <laughs> to energy. See you guys mm. next week. Bye-bye. Good -bye. meeting you. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and Share. <laughs> <laughs> All about Ed. Share the energy. <laughs> Share the energy. <laughs> I'll light you up. <laughs> Check out my YouTube. I got videos that'll make you move. Oh. Literally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs>